Okay, so, uh, this is an NFT game type of project, and supposedly it's going to come out with a drip network type of function. Uh, <clears throat> with that being said, when you look at this site, I mean, it's clearly obvious that, um, yeah, they're, they're definitely an NFT uh, project. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. They also said it was like a really well-known team, too, so maybe we should actually look at that. Uh, great. And, well, the website looks nice. Uh, okay, well, I was going to link to this because I was hoping I would actually find out who the team was, but, I mean, according to the, I mean, according to the YouTube guy, I mean, it was, they say it was pretty legit, so, yeah. I mean, just by looking at the site, I can tell it's already really legit. So this is uh, on AVAX, because they're looking for AVAX. You can buy these NFTs pretty soon. Welcome to Wizard, a pay-to-earn game on the AVAX chain. Oh, great. So, oh man, you know what? It's going to be like another one of those Probata games. Just, just when AVAX was going to have some gas relief, now we, now we got this thing. Oh, great. Uh, very decentralized games like Pizza Game. Oh, yeah. So, great. I need to have, yeah, great, now I need pizza. You know, because I haven't had pizza in a while anyway. Yeah, so, I can't, if, if it's the game I'm thinking of, there's this 8-bit play-to-earn game. It might be on AVAX. I don't remember what chain it was on. I think it was AVAX. I could, or Binance, but I think it was AVAX. Yeah, you have chefs and you make pizzas. And then there's like a chance that you can have like a master chef that makes you even better pizzas and lots more of them. So it sounds like they kind of want to go with that, but this is with a wizards and goblins kind of theme. And obviously, these guys do seem legit. I mean, look how good this art is, right? I mean, obviously, they use the same skeleton, and they just change the colors, right? But still, I mean, hey, that's more than what I could do, right? Uh, Wizards and Goblins can be staked in dungeon to cast mist. Just be careful not to overwork them. Yeah, so it's exactly like that pizza game. Yeah, so that is the pizza game I'm thinking of, because this is the exact same. This thing is the exact same thing. 10,000 more Wizards and Goblins can be minted use, using, using the in-game currency missed. Oh my god. So you know what that means? AVAX is going to get jammed later. Because when Pizza Game launched, oh yeah, AVAX gas fees were through the roof too. 60% of the revenue will be used for missed AVAX liquidity on Trader Joe. What will be your strategy? We go long-term benefit, increase your faith. I don't know. You can read it, whatever. But basically, just get like... Alright, I guess we do need to read this. Um, okay. Over time, a player can purchase wizard tools from simple items like a wand to more complex items such as potions and lots of more stuff. I don't know, like a cauldron, I guess. The goal is simple. Cast as much mist as possible. Earn and level up your wands and dominate the sorcerer's dungeon. Yeah, so it's exactly like pizza game, right? You get pizza tools like a... Uh, I forget what you call that, 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 that rolling sharp thing they use to cut your pizza pies with. But that thing... You can have better ovens, and you can only have one, at least in pizza game, you can only have one tool at a time. I don't know if this game is going to be the same way. It probably should, all right? Because, you know, you need a force and some kind of economy, enforce some kind of economy, so. Well, yes, also force, but enforce it, too. So, yeah, so you have wizard tools like wands and cauldrons and, I don't know, hats, right? When you think of a wizard, I always think of a hat, all right? Wizard hats. So these look really good. Uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. You can look at the roadmap. I don't really care. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this doesn't have anything here. Like, no names. Oh, and just, oh, so the team just takes me to the bottom of the page. All right, so, uh, so first and foremost, this looks really legit. I don't do play to earn anymore because I just can't deal with it anymore. I already have my hands full playing my normal video games plus managing all my stupid minor projects. Well, which will soon eventually die out, so, yeah, I'll lose a lot of money, I guess, from it. I mean, I'm pulling out whatever I can. Uh, it's going to be a while, too, but, um, uh, which am I call it? You know, whatever, I mean, that's how it goes. I mean, and in, I mean, only a couple really shitty projects are doing badly. That's B&B Cherries, one minor project that didn't even bother doing any marketing, all right? Uh, Rocket Game and Lucky Cat, I think, could still be, uh, could still survive for a while. So I'll definitely be able to pull out a lot of my money there, you know. So I'm, I'm pulling it out, you know, I'm pulling cash out. So, 
like ideally if I had 30 days, I would get my money back or at least most of it back. All right. But uh, with that being said, you know, this looks really, really good. Assuming again, this is not a scam. I mean, if this is a scam. I mean, I mean, hell yeah. I mean, take my, steal my money, right? <laughs> steal my money. Cause you obviously went through all this hard work just to rug pull people. Right. But no, I, I don't think this is a scam uh, personally. And the other YouTuber obviously did not, and they said it was a legit team, even though I can't find out who the team is, All right? Because I don't know, it, it doesn't, it just said, uh, it just like, like, who, who are these people? But whatever, it looks really good. I'll know it's legit because the gas fees on AVAX when this thing actually launches is gonna go through the roof, just like what happened with Pizza Game. And um, well, if you're planning to actually do this project, well, then good luck. Um, hopefully, you get like a really good wizard tool. And I don't know, I don't see anything here where you get like a different type of wizard, like a master wizard or like a super sorcerer, but they have that. Hopefully, uh, you know, you'll get lucky and, you know, you roll a critical 20, right? And for anybody who plays Dungeons and Dragons, you know exactly what I'm referring to. You roll a critical, well, actually, you can get a critical on 19, right? 19 or 20. It, I guess it, that, that depends if you have like the class perk as I call it or whatever skill that allows you to double your critical roll from 20 to just 19 and 20 out of 20 yeah so let me see let me think okay so this is actually the end of uh, today because again launches are just really slow uh, crypto is just really in a bad spell and it's gonna be like that until tomorrow right but you know what? Sphere's doing better, and Sim obviously is not giving up on the project because I was getting concerned about that. All right, but you know he's still working, and uh, yet again we have to migrate over to. God, I don't even want to talk about that. But you know what? Whatever. It's for the good of Sphere, so I don't, I don't really care. So and yeah, Sphere's been so undersold that it's actually having a pretty huge uh, spike right now. So we'll see where it goes. I mean, it should be the same value as Titanium, to be honest. But, you know, whatever. All right, I got a lot of work to catch up on. Uh, I want to listen to Jesse Lee Pierce. I want to see how he reacts to my super chat. And, of course, the XQC is still streaming. So, let me mute this. Yeah, I mean, he's just watching videos right now, so I don't, I don't really care about that. So, yeah. All right, I'll see you all tomorrow, hopefully. Actually, I actually, we will, at minimum, the live stream. All right, I'll tweet out that I'll be going live so you have a little bit of time. I'll be live around 2 p.m. New York City time. And then just ask me any questions there. So, like, anything that you're worried about, you ask me. Because I already know the answer. All right? So you just have to ask me. And then, like, oh, okay. That'd be nice to hang out. All right. We'll see. You know. Or who knows? Maybe nobody will come. And then, like, you know, it's like, oh, all right. Well, <laughs> so much for uh, so much for that. But, yeah, that's why we need to you know, have you like, subscribe, share this video around. You know, get this around. And, um, you know... Whatchamacallit. Oh, yeah. Thank you again to all the new people and the old people watching this video. So, um, yeah, let's keep following the channel. And one thing I I do remember one of you in the comments actually said that maybe I should have something in the beginning. So, yeah, you know what? I will probably... I might actually want to change the banner on the lower left corner. Yeah, I'll change the banner on the lower left corner, and I'll just say you need you need to hit the subscribe button. So I gotta figure out how to do that. Oh, God, that's more work for me. I'll figure out how to do that later. I'll change the things on the lower left corner. I guess I'll I'll, I'll I'll figure something out. Anyway, I'm done for the day. I got a lot of work to do, and now that I read about pizza game here, now I want an actual pizza. So I'm gonna go make pizza today. So yeah, yippee! All right, so. Oh man, I haven't touched that uh, pizza sauce in a while. It should still be good, right? Yeah. I'll see you all tomorrow. Now my stomach's growling.